Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over silver. Today we are down 70 basis points and we have about two hours left in trading. On the one hour chart we do see the one hour MACD was pointing down but we may see a reversal on the one hour and may point right back up. And on the four hour chart we recently touched overbought RSI yesterday and then we maintain support between the 9 and 18 moving average on the 4 hour chart and if we expand out on the daily chart we do see that we start to see a daily MACD convergence so that is definitely bullish and we may even see another new high or higher highs I should say and as long as we close above where we are above the 18 day moving average as indicated right now this trend is in this trend is pretty healthy. So and also indicating the volume, this volume spike is much larger today and today and yesterday is averaging to be much higher than past week. So that is a positive note for the bulls. And so if we were to move on higher, I do see a possible resistance again when we made the last high back in early August, actually September, at the price of $19.70. So on the other hand, if we do make a reversal and head down lower, I do see the 50-day moving average coinciding with past support between September 13 and September 19. And by that time, the 50-day moving average has approached it and we may find support. So at the moment, if we were to move on higher, that price movement is roughly around 6%. On the other hand, if we do move down lower, that price movement is 5.6% down lower. So let's head to the forecast model. On here, I'll go day by day where silver will head to the next coming days. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out and seven days out. So which one of these forecast models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. We have the current trend right here. And below it is the trend that I believe is the best match to it. And this trend dates back to September 18, 2007 to December 12, 2007. And let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the first chart, in the beginning of the trend, we were touching the upper Bollinger Bands. So let's mark all the instances where it touches the upper Bollinger Band. So we have one there and right towards the end. And we see right towards the end, we were reverting to the mean or touching the middle Bollinger Band. And so we have those trends and in between these two Bollinger Bands, we average above the middle Bollinger Band for majority of the time. So we have that trend right there. So let's mark down and compare the trend in question. So let's start with the beginning. We start off touching the upper Bollinger Band and right towards the end as well. And, or I should say three quarters of the way. And right towards the end, we did revert to the mean and touch the middle Bollinger Band right towards the end. And let's find the compare we average above the middle Bollinger Band for a majority of the time between this first and second touch of the upper Bollinger Bands. So we have about one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there is reason to believe if the trends and patterns are the same, the outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. And the Back then, silver was down roughly around 2.3% or 2.2%, so not much down. Or I expect to see sideways price action and a little bit to the down, but overall, I do see this uptrend healthy. So at the moment, not much volatility. And that is all. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want this forecast model, you can sign up and use it when it releases in the link below. And thank you for watching.